what's going on guys and welcome back <laughs> i don't know why my head is hurting me right now but we about to jump in to some demon slayer man you guys already know i enjoy i'm enjoying demon slayer we got to meet all of the hashiras and we're jumping in to see what else do they have to offer here before the season ends with these three episodes we're going to be doing these three final episodes today i say i just you know was um just wondering last night just thinking last night and i was like you know what let me just finish up demon slayer um you know so before i choose and go into a new one a new anime what i'm going to do is concentrate on finishing up Yu Yu Hakusho. So that's what I'm going to be concentrating on. When Yu Yu Hakusho is done, then I'll start two new animes, okay? So that's what I'm planning to do. So if you're watching this and you watch Yu Yu Hakusho on my channel, um, you will know why I'm not choosing a new one yet. I'm going to give it some time, give it some time to breathe, and then I'll start two at the same time. And then we'll just kind of get through... Um, We'll just continue to do Yu Yu Hakusho, um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and Haikyuu, okay, for the time being, um, until Yu Yu Hakusho wraps up, because it's not much left in it, I think it's, I think it's like, uh, I'm not even sure, I think it's like 116 episodes or something like that, and we're in the 80s, I think, so, we'll get there e e eventually, so, by the time, I'm doing like, four or five at a time so we'll get there eventually anyways let's jump into this and let's see what's going on back at um the 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 the, the compound the headquarters i should say the the demon slayer headquarters let's see what's going on what's going to transpire what new things we're going to learn about the lore because i don't think there's going to be any more major battles before the season ends right i don't think so because it's only three episodes let's see what happens and then i'll have a review for season one right after okay so let's go watch this and i'll see you guys for the review all right so demon slayer season one review Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Episode 1 through 26, Demon Slayer. They did an excellent job. And first and foremost, I want to give a huge shout out to um, Ufotable, Ufotable, UFO Table. However you want to say the studio's name, they did an incredible, incredible, incredible job. I am going to be reading the manga i'm not going to do the continuance um because i don't want to spoil myself i don't want to spoil myself i actually want to see this one in anime form usually sometimes when i catch up on animes in the an in the anime catch up on anime in the anime <laughs> i i usually sometimes i'll go and read the manga you know, but I have not done that for Attack and Titan. I'm not going to do it for Demon Slayer, okay? Um, I could have I could have been reading the, the Attack on Titan manga. Um, you know, I could have, but I just, I held off because I want, I want my reactions, a lot of my reactions that I do, I want them to be like, you know what I'm saying, very authentic and you know i don't, don't want to sit down because then it's going to be like i'm sitting down waiting for specific episodes to happen i don't want it i want to enjoy every single episodes of the anime when the anime drops you know what i'm saying i did that for naruto and i noticed that really and truly um the my first watching of 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 naruto right like, I was just waiting for certain things to happen, man. I was just waiting for certain things to happen in the anime. And it kind of dulled down and let me miss a lot of the lore points in, in, in the anime. Um, a lot of lore, even though you get a lot more lore in the, in the manga, don't get me wrong. You get a lot more lore in the manga. Um, a lot of stuff is explained in the manga for Naruto that is not explained in the anime. And you just got to kind of guess. And a lot of a lot of times, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that it's bad to be a, you know, just an anime watcher or manga reader or whatever the situation is. Like, that's not what I'm trying to say here. I'm trying to say whichever medium you choose is whatever medium you choose. But at the same time, I'm telling you guys how I felt when I was watching Naruto. You know what I mean? Like, when I watched it, I would be just waiting on those really, really hype moment. Can't wait to see this get animated. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, first part of Naruto, sec, you know, Shippuden, like everything. You're just waiting on those that stuff to happen because it was just so awesome. You know what I mean? It was, it, it was just, it was on that level. You know what I mean? It was on that level. No doubt about it. I really do appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate y'all for joining me on this journey watching Demon Slayer. You didn't have to, but you did. And I really do appreciate it. Um, and shout out to Foldable. Listen, this anime, I can see why people consider it to be anime of the year 2019, right? Right? No doubt about it. I can see why. And it's not because, as I said, this anime doesn't have a deep story. But it does have, you know, they go deep into to lore. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, they're, they're building on that. They're building on that. <sighs> Man. And the story is progressing very quickly. So... I don't know where we go from here. I know that we're going to have that infinity train arc where they're going to be on the train fighting or whatever the situation is. It seems like that last um, moon, that 12 moon that Muzan did not kill. You know what I'm saying? It looks like she, he, whatever, the demon is on the train too. So we're going to have that showdown. Um, so she have everything that she needs now. To progress, right? To pro to to stay serving Muzan as Muzan is gonna kill, um, that demon. So, what it what it could do, I'm saying, it could try to take out the flame Hashira and Tanjiro. But I don't think that's what's gonna happen. though. I think I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't want to predict anything, but. In any case, this season one was just a great display of what animation could be like or what it could look like if they continue with this format. If if they could, I'm I don't have no problems with it. I I you know I used to say this in the past, even though I didn't I wasn't on YouTube at the time. I used to say this in the past, you know, when talking to my friends and stuff like that. It would be so much better animation would be so much better if they didn't have to do it every week now at that time i was only watching anime that were putting out episodes every week i he bleach one piece naruto you get what i'm saying so i wasn't used i've seen great animation you're talking about a guy that watched the original ghost in the shell the first ghost in the shell movie that was like blew me away. Didn't know that Japanese animation could be that good. And that was long, long time ago. Way before I got into Naruto. Right? I used to watch animated films. I mean, Final Fantasy Advent... Uh, Final Fantasy Advent Children, right? Like, that completely blew me away. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know that animation could be that wild because, you know, we didn't get access to certain mediums back home until I came to America and I was introduced to this kind of stuff and it was just off the chain. So it really goes to show you when they have time to do great animation, they can do it over time. I know a lot of these studios, they struggle with money. You get what I'm saying? They struggle with money and paying their workers enough to do things you know, and, and the demand is the, 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 um, the supply doesn't necessarily meet the demand. And that's, a, that's the thing too. The demand is we want great animation all the time, but you can't get that if, if the show is weekly. So I, w I, I would say, I was saying back then I was saying it would be great if they just release, like, say for instance, they do like two episodes two episodes um or three episodes like 
every two week. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think they would have more time to work on it. I think that's a bit much. Just the thing, because they used to do one episode per week. So four episodes a month. Four episodes a month. If they had lowered that to, say, two episodes a month, you know what I'm saying? And I, I think it would be better. You get what I'm saying? But, you know, as I said, the demand doesn't necessarily, the, the supply doesn't necessarily meet the demand. So, in any case, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so, you know, in certain times and in certain places, certain things are going to happen when it comes on to anime. You just got to just deal with it. But I like this format, you know, take a year, get all the episodes done and then put them out you know, on a weekly basis, at least you get the episodes done. You get what I'm saying? So you, you have time to work on the animations. If you know certain episodes are coming up, but we're going to jam pack from the, from what's being laid out on the storyboard for the season. And you know, you know, the animation is, it's gotta be on point. Now, if you don't have enough time to work on that, then you got to bring in all of these great artists just to make it look good. You get what I'm saying? It's just, it just goes to show you well, these things, you know, everything just got to come together. And I'm like the format with, you know, say a one punch man, um, you know, demon slayer, all these animes, even the mangas now that are doing monthly, uh, monthly and not weekly, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. I like that. I like that because you get more time, you get more content that way. Um, you get more time to realize what you're trying to do, you know, so I appreciate that. When it comes on to this season one, man, of Demon Slayer, I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. That's my rating. 8 out of 10. There's certain, there's certain things about this anime that... I do I don't like. It's a couple of things that I don't like about this anime. And it doesn't change my perception of it or not wanting to see it one bit. I actually want to see where this story goes. You know what I'm saying? It's not a great story by any means of that. I think in terms of story, it is extremely lacking. And I think that's one of the issues that I have with this anime. And not every anime is going to have that, but I have to take off. I have to take off a point for them not having a solid story behind this because they could have a solid story behind this anime. Um, but there's no deep story. There's a lot of deep meaning and lessons to be learned from this anime. You know, perseverance, you know what I'm saying, family. All of this good stuff that they try to show you. It seems like everybody in this anime has a tragic past. And I think they could have built a story beyond just, hey, we got a boss to beat. It's like a video game. You get what I'm saying? They could have built something behind that other than it just, oh, we got a big boss. We got to go kill the big boss. You get what I'm saying? Um, that's turning these demons. Oh, let's put a ranking system behind the demons. It's a very simplistic take on any kind of story that you could that you could write and in my book in my book and in my opinion they lose a point for that right they lose a point for that another thing stop stating the obvious when it comes on to, to in anime stop treating your audience like they're idiots that's one of the things that when it comes when it comes on to 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 um to naruto that i love so much a lot of people like say oh Dude, when it comes on to story, there's not a lot of anime that has such deep lore and an actual story, tragic story that, I mean, I don't want to start talking about Naruto because a lot of people don't like it and it is what it is. A lot of people say it's just an anime trope, whatever, whatever. But when you compare um, Naruto to like a Dragon Ball you get what I'm saying? Um, our Dragon Ball Super, I should say. Dragon Ball Z was very, um, there was a lot of lore behind it. A lot of, you know what I'm saying? But the story is still shitty. A lot of people think Dragon Ball has some sort of great story. After Dragon Ball, the original, they just threw everything kind of out the window. They tried to build on certain stuff, but then it's just about fights now. It's just about fights now. So it's just, 
there's a lot of lore behind it too. A lot of things that happen with with Dragon Ball that we do, we don't even know what's canon and what what's not anymore. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? It's like people got to come and explain it to you now. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a really concise story and that's what I don't like about it, but I still enjoy watching Dragon Ball whenever it's on. Dragon Ball Super whatever. I enjoy it for what it is because it's a, it's an, just an action fest. You know what I'm saying? It's just an action fest now. <laughs> you know, it's just who's stronger? Let me fight him. <laughs> right so um when it comes on to demon slayer man there's a lot of deep meaning deep meaning behind it not necessarily a a continuous story behind it and and that's why I took off a point for that and also the fact that it's kind of like you know them treat when it comes on to anime you don't have to do certain things you just don't have to do you get what i'm trying to say there's a certain things you don't have to do. The audience picks up on it. You get what I'm saying? And I like when shows do that. Some shows do that very well. You get what I'm saying? And then you can make predictions of what you think is going to happen. Pretty much everything is told to you in this anime. So there's nothing for you to be like, oh, I think that's going to happen. Because it, it you get what I'm saying? Like everything kind of tells you what's going to happen in the future. We all know we're going to get a Tanjiro versus Muzan ending. Like you can already tell how this anime is going to end, right? If it doesn't end like that, I'm going to give them a round of applause for, 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 for the misleading if the story doesn't end like that. But that's what I'm trying to say. We know that that's where it's going. We all know in Dragon Ball Z that it was going to be a showdown between Goku and Frieza. Like... You get what I'm trying to say? Like, that stuff was not hidden. None of that stuff is hidden. So you can't, like, who would have guessed that that, that in Naruto Kaguya, as much as people don't like it, would you have guessed that Black, Black Zetsu was behind the whole damn thing? No. How do we know that Black Zetsu was going to betray Madara? Nobody knew that shit. You couldn't have predicted that in a million years. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? Like, anybody who predicted that, kudos. <laughs> kudos to you. The revival of Kaguya, I didn't see that shit coming. It surprised the hell out of me. I never. I thought I thought that Madara was the last boss in the game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, man. Um, as much as most people didn't like it because Madara was a better villain, and I agree, Madara was a better villain, but you couldn't have guessed that Black Zetsu was the one changing everything throughout history to revive Kaguya, like never crossed my mind <laughs> ever. So yes, surprise factor, not really in, in Demon Slayer as much. I have to say, um, there's not much surprise factor there. There's surprise moves and it's exciting to see on screen because the animation is so awesome. Um, you know, but everybody just has this past and I'm I'm curious to know more about people's past in this anime more than anything else because that's the most interesting thing to me because the person who they are today, that's what determines it. It's their past. The person who they are today, you get what I'm saying? Like, kind of surprised me that Kocho, um, Kocho was... Like, she was always angry inside because of the character. She's always just so calm and graceful about everything that she says. You know, even though she just pops up for no reason sometimes. You get what I'm saying? And it's kind of creepy. I still like her. You get what I'm saying? Some people got the wrong impression that <laughs> that I didn't like the, Ash the, the, the Hashiras. It's not, I don't hate the Hashiras, bruh. I just don't like their attitude. And I get the reason why they're like that. But they don't have to be like that. They're choosing to be like that because of, again, their past. You get what I'm saying? As much as Tanjiro has experienced with, with demons, mind you, the master of demons, the big top dog is the one that turned his family, that killed his family. And he has nothing... He has shown kindness to demons after that, even though he still killed them. He has shown kindness. You get what I'm saying? 
to them. So they don't have to be like that. I don't expect everybody to be like Tanjiro, don't get me wrong. But still, the situation that they were in and the way they were acting was just... You're just going to kill kill a demon slayer just because he's... he's. You get what I'm saying? He's protecting, he's protecting a demon that's not eating anybody. And before you even hear the explanation, you're like, Oh, he's with a demon. That's the rules. Let's kill him. So what's, what's with the trial? Why are you having a trial? You get what I'm saying? And that's the reason why that kind of turned me off from them. But, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know... Kocho seems like she's very different. And as we go along, I guess we're going to get to know a lot of them a little bit better. Um, so cool beans, man. Cool beans. Um, as I said, 8 out of 10 for me. I know a lot of people might give it, you know, a higher score than that. But as I said, for two simple reasons, because there's no story to follow here. And I love a good story. So for me in my book, I think, I think everything that I that as a medium should have a story and it should have a story as something that I can follow if it's going to be a multi-episode thing and not just a movie. If it's just a movie, of course, I'm going to judge it based on just a movie. You get what I'm saying? Just watch the Sonic movie. You know, it got raving reviews and I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, this is a good, it's a good start, but this is not a 10 out of 10 movie. It's, it's not there. It's a lot of faults with that movie. When I finally got to see it, it was a lot of faults. It was a very good video game movie. Don't get me wrong. Top notch video game movie compared to some of them that we've gotten over the years. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, definitely top notch movie. But as I said, there needs to be a story that I that I can follow. You get what I'm saying? If the story is just a I'm just training to get better. So that I can beat the big boss. Listen, the whole entire story of Naruto. And people try to talk down to Naruto. I'm always going to defend it. Because when it comes on to Naruto. The biggest story in Naruto. Is not him trying to fight Madara. Or going after Madara. It was to save his friend. The underlying main thing about the entire anime the entire story was him trying to save his his closest friend i don't know it might seem mundane or whatever but it's the entire thing everything that naruto did you get what i'm saying he was doing it just to get back his friend that fell into darkness if you want to call it that and it was brilliant it was brilliantly done providing all types of context around that and even now the lore is even better now in the boruto manga you know what i'm saying so i appreciate y'all man for tuning in and helping me to get through this man it was awesome it was brutal it was deadly it was scary it was creepy all types of emotions I felt, and that's why, and, and that's a high score in my book, you know what I mean, 8 out of 10, I've given a lot of stuff, 10 out of 10 on this, on this, on this um channel, um, and 9's out of 10, but I think Demon Slayer is up there, you know what I'm saying, 8 out of 10, and I appreciate y'all for joining me on this journey, if you think differently, you think differently, it's okay, maybe you don't really understand what I'm trying to say, but th that's just my opinion, in my opinion, that's just my opinion. Um, so if you want to leave your opinion in the, in the comment section, you know, that's fine. But I appreciate y'all nonetheless. Um, so thank you guys so much for tuning in for these past 26 episodes. I appreciate y'all once again. Gratitude is never enough. That's why I say it so many times. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment and also subscribe if you're new. Can't, there's more Demon Slayer to come as soon as the, the anime starts back up. I will be there or whenever the movie drops, which I hear is dropping at the end of this year. So we should have it by um, early next year, I guess. So I'll see you then. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. And Terabyte reacts out. Peace. Uh...